I think it's important to have a future that is inspiring and appealing. I just think there have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Like, why do you want to live? What's the point? What inspires you? What do you love about the future? For Musk, that means building a reality where humans live on multiple planets. And if we're not out there, if the future does not include being out there among the stars and being a multi-planet species, I find that it's incredibly depressing if that's not the future that we're going to have. Killer robots, electric jets, and living on Mars. These are just a few of the things that Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk says the future holds. Here's a look at some of his boldest predictions about what's to come. But before we explore the future, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss a thing here on Googleplex. Twenty twenty four. Artificial intelligence will pose a real threat to the human race. Musk has historically made his views on the dangers of developing AI very clear in the past. He believes that without due care and attention, it could become an existential threat to our species. AI will also be the blame for starting World War III. Musk states that one of the biggest problems with AI will be humans using it against each other. There are already concerns about AI weaponry, so maybe he has a point. The risk of something seriously dangerous happening as a result of AI is in the five years time frame, ten years at most. But what does he mean by dangerous? Will robots really take over? Killer robots could also become a problem. There are robots that can learn to talk from nothing within hours, like way faster than any biological being. We will go to Mars by 2025. In only a handful of years, Musk has predicted that we will be able to send people to Mars for the first time ever. Mars is 33.9 million miles away, and he hopes to launch in 2024 with arrival in 2025. All forms of transport will eventually become electric. Within the next 10 years, the tech guru predicts that more than half of the U.S. vehicles will be fully electric, and the fossil fuel era will be remembered the way we think of the steam engine today. There's no question that all transport, with the ironic exception of rockets, will go fully electric. Everything, planes, trains, automobiles, all ships, but it's a question of what is the time frame. Humans will become cyborgs. They will need to become part robot to survive. You'll be able to connect your brain to computers in 10 years. As if Tesla, SpaceX, and the Boring Company weren't enough to keep Musk busy, he also has a company, Neuralink, that is developing ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers, as the company's website explains. Musk's first goal is to help fix damaged brains. The second step is even more ambitious, to connect healthy human brains directly to computers, combining our natural intelligence with artificial intelligence. Over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. It's mostly about the bandwidth, the speed of the connection between your brain and the digital version of yourself, particularly output. According to Musk, we are moving towards a future where when your biological body dies, you could possibly be uploaded into a new unit and continue living as a computer. Autonomy will be standard in vehicles in 15 years. In 15 years, owning a car without self-driving capabilities will be a lot like owning a horse. You'll only be owning it for sentimental reasons. As self-driving cars become the new normal, millions of jobs will be threatened. As Musk predicted the indefinite rise of autonomous vehicles, he also suggested that the need for a steering wheel will be eliminated as autonomous travel takes over and the physicalities needed to drive a vehicle are likewise eliminated. 2040 – AI will completely surpass humans Never one to dampen his fears about AI-dominant future, Musk claims that by 2040, AI will outperform humans in every task. We will colonize Mars with a city. 
Citing the short lifespan and successes of SpaceX, Musk stated that by the time his company has tripled, he expects to have created a city on the Red Planet with thousands or tens of thousands of residents. Musk sees a future when hundreds of colonists and tourists will climb into an interplanetary transport system and multiple ships will join together in fleets and head to Mars and beyond. The ITS will have more than double the carrying capacity of any spacecraft humans have built. What really matters is being able to transport large numbers of people and ultimately millions of tons of cargo to Mars. 2060 – A Million People Will Live on Mars he has set his sights towards the plans to transform the surface of Mars by populating it with a million-member strong human settlement, sent over in a fleet of passenger ships provided by SpaceX. 2100s onward, terraform Mars into an Earth-like planet. In every one of his job postings, SpaceX says it's pursuing the ultimate goal of enabling human life on Mars. To that end, its website hosts an image of a rusty red planet morphing into an Earth-like world. The illustration is a nod to hypothetical and speculative process called terraforming. Terraforming is a type of climate change, but deliberate and more rapid than what's happening on Earth right now. The idea is that Mars could be transformed into a warm, wet world one better suited for permanent human colonization, if we could melt the planet's carbon dioxide-rich ice caps. Experimenting with terraforming may be only one way to tell whether it's possible. Musk, or perhaps his memory and legacy, just might be the impetus that makes it happen in the distant future. Video games will become indistinguishable from reality. Musk has heavily considered the possibility that we may very well be living in a simulation. His main argument to support this is the rapid advance of the technology that powers video games, which he believes will one day become so realistic they'll be impossible to distinguish from real life. Forty years ago, we had Pong, he said. Now, forty years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously, and it's getting better every year. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, then the games will become indistinguishable from reality. We don't know if his predictions are going to be true or not, but guessing from what he is capable of now and what he's doing for the humankind, I can assure that these predictions are actually going to become true. Stephen Hawking was so much more than a physicist with a few bestsellers. He was someone who inspired us to be the better version of ourselves. He made us laugh. He made us curious. He encouraged us to look at the stars and dream big. He also, at times, made us afraid. Hawking, who died on 14 March 2018 at the age of 76, after 52 years of living with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, left behind a deeply important legacy. Not one to shy away from the apocalyptic, Hawking was passionate about protecting humanity, which he predicted would face an onslaught of challenges in the years to come. Alien Contact It was Hawking's belief that when humans inevitably meet aliens, we should run. That dread came less from an idea that aliens will be inherently bad and more from his observations of humans. If aliens visit us, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans. I imagine they might exist in massive ships, having used up all of the resources from their planet. Such advanced aliens should perhaps become nomads, looking to conquer and colonize whatever planets they can reach. But he also predicted we probably won't encounter aliens soon. I believe alien life is quite common in the universe, although intelligent life is less so. Some say it has yet to appear on planet Earth. Self-destruction. The Earth will turn into a ball of fire. I would not be optimistic about the long-term outlook for our species. Hawking theorized that humans would turn the planet into a giant ball of fire by 2600 due to overcrowding and energy consumption which will make Earth uninhabitable. We are in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. According to Hawken, we aren't at doomsday yet, and it's up to our actions to keep it that way. Gene Editing 
A genetically modified race of superhumans will eventually come to dominate the world. Once such superhumans appear, there will be significant political problems with unimproved humans who won't be able to compete. Presumably, they will die out or become unimportant. Instead, there will be a race of self-designing beings who are improving at an ever-increasing rate. Artificial Intelligence We need to move forward on artificial intelligence development, but we also need to be mindful of its very real dangers. Success in creating effective AI could be the biggest event in the history of our civilization, or the worst. Because what an AI can learn is infinite, Hawking reasoned that it could eventually catch up to the limits of the human brain and surpass us. I fear that AI may replace humans altogether. You're probably not an evil ant-hater who steps on ants out of malice, but if you're in charge of a hydroelectric green energy project and there's an anthill in the region to be flooded, too bad for the ants. Let's not place humanity in the position of those ants. Space Exploration If humanity is to continue for another million years, our future lies in boldly going where no one else has gone before. We are running out of space, and the only places to go are to other worlds. It is time to explore other solar systems. Within the next thousand or ten thousand years, humans living on interstellar colonies would be absolute certainty. This would be, in Hawking's opinion, for the best. Earth, he predicted, was in danger of experiencing astronomical events like asteroids and supernovas. To survive as a species, we must ultimately spread to the stars. Sometimes we can be reminded of how insignificant we are on the scale of the universe. But even with that insignificance, we're pretty incredible creatures who can at least understand its profundity. What do you think about the future? Share your predictions in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and click subscribe to always stay with Googleplex.